Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we are going to be making a comparison, discussing and looking at the differences and similarities between the Streamlight TLR7A and TLR7X. This came out and was released right around SHOT Show this year, so let's get into it. So real quick, I know you guys hate ads, but I do have to pay the bills. Coming out to the desert all the time, shooting all the time is not cheap, and without your help, I can't afford to do that. And that's why this video is sponsored by Aura. So while the spam phone calls and text messages are basically a minor annoyance, and you might get hit by them one of these days, on a long enough timeline, Aura offers a ton more than just getting rid of those. They offer bank security, social security number security. They offer VPN and antivirus. They will take your name off of all the data broker uh, lists. Data brokers sell your information. That's how you end up on these spam phone calls, spam text messages, things like that. There are hackers, there are scam artists, there are bad people out there all the time, every day, 365 days a year, that is trying to steal your money, that is trying to steal your identity, and trying to ruin your lives for their benefit. And since they don't take a break trying to steal from you, or it doesn't take a break trying to protect you, they have 24-7 US-based customer service and 365 24-7 monitoring and they do all of this starting at $9.99 a month depending on the protection that you want if it's individual and up to very large families and households all over protection but you can get two weeks for free try it out with no obligation to buy by using my code aura.com slash rtt maybe it's for you maybe it's not again you can get two weeks free to try and protect your family your entire household and yourself from being scammed from being taken advantage of from having your identity stolen from having your computer hacked and having your money taken again that's aura.com slash rtt to get a two-week free trial with no obligation to buy Check it out. Thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. So we are talking about the TLR7X and how it compares to the OG TLR7A. Do you need to upgrade from the A to the X? What's the differences? Let's compare them. Let's talk about it. To start with, Streamlight has been around for a very long time and is one of the top of the game of weapon lights and even handheld lights on the market. Widely considered to be the best bang for the buck lights, no matter if it's weapon light or handheld lights out there. Uh, are all Streamlight products the highest output? No. Are all Streamlight products the lowest price? No. Streamlight products tend to have that very, very good balance where you're getting a ton of quality, a ton of output for a price that they could probably actually charge a little bit more for. <clears throat> and the TLR7X is no different. So comparing the two, the TLR7A to the TLR7X, uh, they are in almost every way, sorry, there's a bunch of bugs out here today. Uh, they are in almost every way identical. Now the body shape and size of each light is holster compatible with each other. If you have a TLR7A holster currently, the TLR7X will fit in it. The bezels are the same and they both have the same partial turn lockout mode on the bezel. They have the same switches and same programming with the 10 tap programming that Streamlight is so well known for, and the same rail and lockup system. Now, as far as specs and output, they are both 500 lumen lights. They are both 5,000 candela lights. They both have a, an approximate 140 meter beam distance, and they both have approximately an hour and a half runtime. So what makes these two different? Why is the X a thing? and it has largely, largely replaced the A. Well, because the X is uh, rechargeable in a sense. So the TLR7X is a dual fuel light where the TLR7A is a single fuel light, meaning it only takes the CR123A style battery uh, for the TLR7A. This can take the TLR7A or I'm sorry, the CR123A uh, battery from any manufacturer, right? Any lithium CR123A ba uh, battery. But you can also use the rechargeable 
There's an SLB09, I believe, or Streamlight's version of the CR123A. Um, and it has a micro USB charging port in it. So I have watched a few videos. I've watched actually a number of videos on this TLR7X. I think the one that I like the most is from Works Holsters. Uh, of course, I'm a big fan of Works, but they're also probably the least bias light uh, reviewing channel out there. They, they make high quality holsters. Um, they make uh, 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 precision fit holsters for weapons with lights. That's, that's their shtick. That's what they say. Um, but Shan goes through and they have all the equipment and d does very, very good testing with uh, lights. And in their testing, they found that this actually has, uh, this actually has in their testing anywhere between 5 and 10% more output than the TLR7A. And of course, that 5 to 10% may vary based on based off of your individual one but that was the findings in their video now with that said and also in other videos uh people talk about how streamlight uh advertised this as rechargeable which it is but uh they wanted as some sort of an exterior uh plug that you can put like a USB-C or USB uh, micro, micro USB into the side or something like that, or one of those bullshit magnetic chargers that like Olight and other crappy companies use um, to charge their lights. I am super glad they didn't do that. I think those are both horrible, horrible ideas. I think on weapon lights, having openings into the electronics like a charging port, um, and then those, those uh, magnetic chargers in the field in adverse conditions have shown to be very unreliable um, i am happy that they just made it to where you can twist this off you don't have to recharge it it's field serviceable you throw uh, another battery in it twist that back on and you're back in business so i'm glad it's not an internal only battery with some sort of a charging port on the outside of it now with all that said let's get into some footage where i I compare the TLR7A to the TLR7X, but I also compare it to uh, a flashlight that Streamlight makes, being the Wedge XT of equal lumen output, but not the same candela output. And then, of course, I compare it to the TLR1 HL, which is a much bigger, much bigger body size, much larger uh, light, and much higher output than the TLR7 series. All right, so here we have the TLR7A. The OG TLR7, 500 lumens, 5,000 candela, 140 meter beam. The target is about 20 yards away. Here is this TLR7X, 500 lumens, 5,000 candela, 140 meter beam. So, X. A, TLR7A, TLR7X. About as identical as you can get. All right, so I am about 12 yards away from the light, and I can't look directly at it, not without a significant amount of pain. This is the TLR7A. Um, as Reno May put it in one of his recent videos, like does your light suck yes this light sucks to look at so that's the tlr7a and the tlr7x i'm getting kind of tired of looking at these um yeah so equally again they're essentially identical in well they are identical in output and so rightfully so they both equally suck to look at um, these are very capable lights to the point where I'm just talking to you with my eyes closed to this point because they do suck to look at. So we are about 30 yards away from that bush. This is the TLR7A and this is the TLR7X. Again, almost completely interchangeable lights and output. Now just for comparison's sake, I'm going to compare the TLR7X, as you can see here, with the Streamlight Wedge XT. So this is the Candela, 
that you're getting. They're both 500 lumen lights, but as you can see, this is what Candela gives you. In the camera, you can barely see the target, and now you can very clearly see the target and all the hits on it and things like that. So, that is the difference. Now, one last comparison, the TLR7X to the Streamlight TLR1HL. Now, the HL being a thousand lumens and much higher candela, as you can see here, that is the difference in the lights. Now, as a comparison, the TLR1 is far larger than the TLR7A or 7X. So at the end of the day, uh, if you have a TLR7A, is it worth the upgrade to the TLR7X? Well, that's going to be very personal opinion on whether or not you're happy with the single fuel design of this uh, being only a CR123A type battery or the rechargeable battery that comes with this uh, and also the ability to use a CR123A battery. That's going to be the biggest thing because they are otherwise identical. Uh, if you have a TLR7A, you are not unprepared, suddenly unprepared, just because the TLR7X exists. However, if you are into getting it into weapon lights and you're first putting one on a pistol, the TLR7X is a great option. Uh, in fact, I don't know how much you can even find the TLR7A anymore. However, uh, the TLR7X is going to be a great option for you. They sit flush with Glock 19 style pistol. In shorter pistols like this uh, Taurus uh, G3C, this is the TLR7A, but uh, again, it's the same body. They'll stick just beyond it like this. And on and on full-size guns like a Glock 17 or a, a Canik TP9 or something like that, it will sit just rear of the muzzle end. So is there anything that I would change about the TLR7X uh, outside of the rechargeable batteries, you know, it being the dual fuel being able to take rechargeable batteries? Uh, I would say no in this case, uh, especially because they didn't raise the price of it. Like it costs the same as the TLR7A, um, and it has the added value of the taking dual fuel rechargeable uh, uh, batteries. With that said, had they like significantly increased the price of these, I would have said yes, it needed more candela, more lumens, higher output, longer runtime, something along those lines. But since you're getting the same output, the same uh, power consumption, the same uh, uh, body style, the same size, the same everything, uh, without the price going up, however you are getting the added benefit of a rechargeable battery, there's not much I don't think I would change about. And that's it for the comparison of the TLR7A to the TLR7X. These bugs are driving me insane, so I am going to cut this off now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Streamlight for sending that light out and any of the other lights they've sent to me. I love Streamlight products, and they're also a great company with world-class famous customer service. So there's just no, there is no losing. Thank you everybody out there for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all the members and supporters, monetary supporters of my channel. If you would like to get more videos from me like this, go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And remember to hit all notifications. Uh, it certainly helps the channel. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the TLR7X the comparison of the two and things like that. I would very much appreciate it. It certainly helps with the algorithm. So leave that comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you later.